I gotta tell you something. Now that Timmy's gone, I'm not here, I can finally tell you how I feel. I, I, I... Wait a second. Why are you here? Hey guys, Fusion Bacon here, bringing you top 10 things you need to know in Dragon Blocks Ultimate. These are things I've learned from Timmy, from other YouTubers, and just the experience of playing the game. Some tips might seem obvious, some might seem just out there. I, I, I don't know how to put it, but what I'm saying is these are things every player needs to know, everyone needs to study, slash, just have a grip on when playing this game. Yeah, I know, I'm not with Timmy. <laughs> like always, I'm trying to do something on my own more, I'm trying to, you know, actually contribute more to the channel than I usually have been. If y'all want more Dragon Blocks Ultimate tips, let's hit 80 likes and I'll make another video. It can be anywhere from five to 15 more tips. I don't know yet. I haven't really searched out to find more than what I have now. I have a couple extra, but I'm not gonna save them in this video. I'm gonna save them for the next if there is one. That's up to y'all. Now let's get right into it. So the first tip I would say is one of the most important, which is energy volley. Always use energy volley. It was something that Timmy told me the second I logged on. It's something to get as quick as possible and then just use it forever. It's good for PvP and for boss battles and stat grinding, anything. It's it's just it's always a good energy blast to use. But what you want to do with it is always have a energy volley and then you want to use a blast. But if you're more late game, I like to do the spirit bomb and then energy volley and blast and that is my best, best mix personally. Now the time for tip number two. Now the second tip I think is one of the most important is having a fusion partner. What they will help you do is get a big stat boost and if you're stat grinding it can even help you but mostly you use stat grinders to fuse with you and it helps you rev grind and you can get tremendous amount of revs so much quicker. I, that's how I got my 31 in under like two weeks. It, it I've had so many people help me out. I've had Timmy help me out. It's been, it's been a long ride for it, but it, it's been a lot easier than it would have been without them. So grab friends in this game, join a clan. It's a very helpful thing. Now number three is basically the exact same thing as number two, but I still want to include it. It is friends and clans. Clans are something very helpful because you will have so many more stat grinders, so many more rev grinders. You'll have many friends to help you if you're in PvP battles. Just clans widely will help you grind, fuse, anything you need. They normally will have your back as long as you're nice to them and you're in a good clan. It's always worth being in one and then or just having friends if you can't get in a clan or you don't want to be in a clan just have many friends who play and are dedicated like you now time for tip number four now the fourth tip which is also another important I think they're all important but some in my opinion are more important and this is one of the top ones the top three in my opinion which is forms forms help in so many ways they give you stat boost, they have masteries which help so much, it goes, it, it just, they are the baseline of what will speed you up in rev grinding and stat grinding. Like I was saying, all forms have mastery which level up by the time you use it, as in the longer you're in that form, the more it levels up. And I think every increment of 5 is a like kind of boost you get, like at level 4 five i think you get a 50 percent power drain uh reduction and it helps you not use as much energy just sitting in the form and then level 10 is a stat boost and then level 15 uh, level 15 excuse me is a zero percent drain for energy so then you don't use any like mine it's not using any just sitting in my god of creation form and then like 20, I'm pretty sure. I haven't reached it yet. My my best form right now is the God of Creation, along with it's only level 16. And it has 180 stat scale boost, but I think at level 20, it gives you another uh, stat boost, which is just beyond crazy. But getting past level like 
10 to 15 once you get in that area it just slows down so much and you can be on for hours and barely even get one level if even now time for tip number five Now number five is boss requirements. In one of the latest big updates, they added boss requirements and to get the experience slash stats from the bosses, you have to do 10% of the damage. So if you can't do that and you have a friend trying to kill it for you, you gotta be able to do 10%. If you can't do that, then you really can't even do that boss. But boss requirements are such an important thing because you don't want it to fly across half the map let's say to Broly, and then you need a million more stats just to even get in. So knowing all boss requirements, either written them down or just memorizing them like I've been trying to do lately helps a lot. Like having Cell, Cell's boss requirements, definitely early game like Cell and stuff like that, all their boss requirements, everyone, you need to memorize them. It's so important, it saves so much time for you, and it just helps you set a small goal which it personally boosts you morally to me. That's just how I am in my perspective. But time for tip number six. Now number six is double XP. This is something that seems very obvious, trust me. But you, you never know how overpowered it can be until you've really grinded. Like for example, me and Timmy, I stayed at his house for a whole weekend. We used the double XP to our most. Like we played day through night just to get me rebirth and it got me over 10 to 15 in just that weekend and for me to be as low a rebirth i am it's insane he got over like 40 or something i think it was like 40 to 20 i don't know exactly i can't remember but when you compare that to a normal day it's it's just beyond wild it's so op so double xp very necessary to get on play as much as possible it will really help you now time for tip number seven. Now tip number seven is going to be talents. Again, another obvious one, but this is something that even Tempo tries to stress. And it's talents are very helpful, but they cost a lot. They cost over $20 if you want all the talents to give you two times boost on all of your stats. It is expensive, but worth it. And I would only recommend if you decide you're going to dedicate yourself to this game, and that you actually care about your stats, your revs, and such, I I advise you get them. I got them when I was around like five rebirths, four, three-ish, in that area, I don't remember, and it sped me up so quickly. It helps me so quickly. And then on two-time weekends, it's basically a four-times boost, and it is just, it, it's insane how much you fly up in stats just with talents. It's one of the most helpful things in the game and I recommend getting them if you really are dedicated. Now time for tip number eight. Now tip number eight is gonna be private servers. Private servers help a lot. And what I mean by that is being in a private server allows for you to be at maximum speed. And that means no one will get in your way. No one else will farm the bosses. Unless you need help, then this is where that comes in handy. Like. If you can fight the boss and basically one hit or two hit it, three hit, you know, such, like you can actually kill yourself, this will speed up to the max. Having a private server or being in someone else's private server and having no one in your way basically that each boss, and not being rude of course, since no one's there, you don't have to worry about that. You get to just fly through bosses, it speeds you up, gives you maximum speed to just reb over and over and over. And then you can also have your friends in there to help you uh, fuse and help you just rev. Rebbing is one of the biggest things in the game. <laughs> and stat grinding, it's really helpful. Both things are. Now time for tip number nine. Tip number nine is going to be rebs. Rebs is one of the biggest things to get. The more you have, the quicker stats go up. Each rev gives you a 20% XP boost, which means each stat goes up 20% quicker each rev. Me, only with 31, it's not like the biggest difference, but it also is. When you compare to someone with 1 to 3 to even 0, it's it's humongous change. The difference of revs is humongous. The more you have, the higher your stats go up, the faster. And if you have anywhere from 100 plus, you, you, you truly know a difference between from when you started and now. 
and even now I can completely tell it used to be the biggest struggle just to get to a million stats now the struggle is getting to a hundred million and that doesn't even take me an hour anymore it's it's insane how good revving will do but it is very time-consuming and sometimes annoying going back to zero stats but I think it is completely worth very helpful in this game it is the biggest thing to honestly do unless you want to stack grind and you got a high enough rebirth then go for it it's you can help friends with that you can become stronger than a lot of people but just know people will catch up to you when they have a high enough rep count so i would be careful with stack grinding but reps big thing now time for tip number 10 now this 10th tip is kind of you know in the middle uh I'm not too big on it and I'm never going to dedicate to this, but all accounts. Now, I don't know if it's, you know, completely okay or not, but having an all account, like one do a stat grind and the other rev grind and you fuse with it. See, I have friends and I have fans like y'all that help me. So I personally don't need this and I don't really advise doing it too much, but if you really want to do it and if it's honestly okay, then go for it. it it's a good idea in its own way because you'll have a account to always fuse with give you max stats to grind the rebs and get even stronger so all accounts it's a good idea but i don't know if it's a completely with the rules but i know many other players do it so that's a thing you need to know now tip 11 the most important tip of all if you don't do this you're not a true g it's sub to the fusion squad you need to sub to the fusion squad we need the subscribe count over 5k by the end of the month <laughs> now i'm just playing uh i hope we can hit the like goal of 80 likes in this video i i think we can do it i think this fan base is really br brought together and very supportive and loyal to this channel i think we can hit 80 likes in a week personally but if y'all can't it'll be all right i'll understand but hope y'all like this video subscribe check out some more videos see y'all in the next video peace